guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget closeout video. So for today, we're going to be closing out our budget for April. So we're gonna close out our sinking funds, see how we did as far as being over budget, under budget, all that good stuff. And yeah, it always feels really good to close out the month and May is already put together. We've already started tracking transactions for May. So you guys will see the week one budget check-in for May next Thursday. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to navigate on over to our April budget and we will go ahead and get things taken care of here. So I do not share our income information. I also do not share what we're putting specifically towards savings. I do um, share like what we're, you know, working on as far as financial goals. And I apologize, <laughs> I feel like I just got my um, like Invisalign yesterday and I have a headache, like my mouth is kind of sore and I feel like I cannot talk. <laughs> so just please forgive me and bear with me as I'm kind of getting used to having them in. I just got them, yeah, well today, I'm filming this Wednesday and you guys are seeing it Thursday, so two days ago by the time you guys are seeing this, um, I've been wearing them and it's been very interesting. My mouth is a little bit sore. It's not like super painful or anything like that, but it's definitely made it like harder to talk and all of that. So anyways, I'm sure I will adjust and get used to it eventually, but in the meantime, let me go ahead and turn do not disturb on real quick. And I need to grab the calculator and we'll get started. So yeah, I don't share any of that specific information, but you guys will get to see kind of how we did overall for the month. So. Fixed expenses were all exactly as we had them planned. Our HOA did go up, so I need to log on and adjust the auto payment that comes out for that. They don't like adjust it all on their own. You have to go in there and manually do that. So um, the amount that I had budgeted for May is actually going to be less than what it actually is. So that's good to know, but all the other amounts were exactly as we had planned. And then for our variable expenses, we did not have a bill come through for Southwest Gas, so we were under budget on Southwest Gas by $60, which is really nice. And then for water and trash, we were under budget there, so we had budgeted $100 and then $92.62 came out. So we were under by $7.38. APS was exactly as we had planned. The gym membership, we were under budget by two cents. And then T-Mobile, we budgeted 150 and we paid 142.66. So we were under by $7.34. And then Hulu, I had forgotten that I canceled Hulu, so we were under by $21.16. And then WW was what we had planned. And then we get into our variable expenses. So we actually did not really have any transactions since we last checked, um, checked in together. That was, what day was that, that I checked in? Um, let me look at my calendar real quick and see. So yeah, our last check-in was, I filmed it on the 27th. So there were only a couple days of the month left, but I didn't close out my budget last week because there were a couple transactions we figured we'd have for sinking funds and everything. So yeah. That makes that really easy. We don't really have anything extra to track. So we were over budget by $55.85 for groceries, which means that we spent a total of $1,055.85. Being under budget on some bills is definitely gonna help with some of this. Household, we were very over, so let's take a look. 82.27 is what we were over, so 
27. So I'm going to add 250 plus 82, 27. So that means we spent a total of 332.27. Eating out, I believe we were over on eating out as well by $18.46. And I actually can just copy and paste this. 18.46. That's so what we were over. So eighteen forty six, and that means we spent three eighteen forty six. Maddie's commission. We just took out the twenty dollars for her. So that was what was expected. And then for gas, I think we were a little under on gas. Yeah, by three. 357. So again, I'm just going to copy that and we will paste over here and I can change the color as well to show that we are under. So 150 minus 357. So we spent a total of 146 43. Sinking funds were 3100 I think that was, yeah, that was accurate, right? Um, yes, 3100 So that's good to go. And then for unbudgeted, we had... 450 and then that was for our cleaning and then 1626 and that was it for unbudgeted. What was the 16 oh, orange theory and parking? So 1626 and 450. So we were over budget or we had unbudgeted expenses of 466 26. So we're going to put that over here as well. And then what I will do is I will add up all of our actual spending. So I'm just going to zoom that in. So 92.62 plus 316.52 plus 55.98 and then 142.66, $10, 1055 $85 and 332, 27, 318.46, $20, and 146.43, 3100, and 466.26. So $6,057 and five cents. And then we'll figure out our overs and unders. So I'm just gonna actually take the 466, all the overs and add them up and then I'll subtract the unders. So 466.26 plus 18.46 plus 82.27, 55.85. So that's a total of 622.84. And then we'll subtract all of our unders. So 60. 738, two cents, 734, 21.16, and 3.57. So 523.37 is what we were over. So pretty significant amount, 37. So when I add this to that, it should equal that. So let's go ahead and do that. Five, five, three, three, six, eight. So yeah, six thousand fifty-seven dollars and five cents. So yeah, we were over by five hundred and twenty-three dollars and thirty-seven cents. That will come from what we had put towards our new car. We kind of prioritize our goals. So getting the emergency fund done is kind of the top priority for us currently. We're just trying to beef it up a little bit more. And then investments are the second top priority. 
and then the new car is the third priority so that overage amount will come from the new car we also could take it from our buffer we do have a buffer in our checking account but in this case we've just decided to take it from the new car so yeah as far as rating the month is concerned um i definitely would say we didn't do so great <laughs> this time i mean the main overage was getting the house cleaned which we had not planned for that was a decision we made later on in april so it kind of came up sporadically it was a deep clean a deep like initial clean and then we're actually going to have the cleaning service come on the first wednesday of every month so really exciting news and i won't share specifics because i haven't gotten permission <laughs> to share specifics but planning to prosper did hire its first like official part-time employee um which is really exciting and she is going to put together the good notes files and everything so that's very exciting so andrew is just going to crop and compress so we decided to just have the cleaner still come once a month because it is really nice i have to say like when we're together as a family on the weekends and in the evenings and stuff and we don't have to worry about that as much it's really really nice because they're coming once a month we'll still you know do like maintenance cleaning and stuff like that but um yeah it's really nice and i like being able to support a small business their family is very very sweet and yeah so anyways that is what is going on with that and that's why we're we were so like over budget i feel like it wasn't too too bad as far as like groceries are concerned and then household was pretty significantly over but i'm gonna give us two stars for this month so i'm gonna use my yellow highlighter and we'll just go in and highlight one of these but yeah andrew was not digging <laughs> the good notes files um so yeah but i'm really excited because this um individual who will be doing stuff for planning to prosper is like a top choice like i was praying that she would say yes and she did and i'm so excited i'm actually meeting with her today so that will be really fun and if I get permission from her to like give more specifics, then I will, but I'm going to keep it kind of confidential for now. Um, so yeah, I'll give us two stars for the month of April and then we get to close out sinking funds, which I am not looking forward to because we have tons <laughs> and tons of transactions. So I think what I might do is I might film this process, but not in real time i think i'm going to speed through it for you guys and put on some music but basically what i do is i'll look at i'll kind of take them one by one so like i'll look at andrew's pocket money and then highlight as i go all of his pocket money add them up put it in and all that kind of stuff so that's what i i will do um and yeah i'll film the process for you guys but i'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit through all of that so i'll be back with you guys in just a moment
Okay, that took like seriously 20 minutes, but for you guys, a lot shorter of amount of time. So now it's time for the moment of truth. I have not calculated this yet, so oh, this part always makes me so stinking nervous, but I'm gonna put our starting balances and then plus what we added, which was 3,100, and then minus what we spent, which was $5,864.43, and then it should equal this ending number here. So, yay! <laughs> oh, it's always like, so nerve-wracking for some reason doing that part of it but we spent quite a bit out of sinking funds this month but a lot of that was because we booked our flights to north carolina for the fall we're going to go out there for my father-in-law's um 60th birthday and then we also had a lot of medical bills this month so that is the main reason why so much was spent out of there but yeah, that is what our ending balance is. And then um, I can transfer all of these ending balances over to May for our beginning balances. I will probably honestly try to write it a little bit nicer. I got pretty lazy with my handwriting <laughs> because honestly, I was just, I'm not, it's not always fun budgeting. It's not always fun. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Like I was just telling Andrew, I was like, oh, I have to close our budget and I'm not looking forward to it. Sometimes it's not super fun, you know? And so I feel like I was just a little lazy with my handwriting because I just wanted to get it done, you know? But that is pretty much it. That is how April went for us. That was our whole process of closing everything out. I will say I am currently working on some brand new inserts for the budget add-on and I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I still have quite a bit to do, so I know a lot of you are really anxious for the new budget add-on. My current goal is to release it sometime next week. It will honestly probably be towards the end of the week. I actually decided on the day you guys are watching this to take the day off because I've just found that my like creativity has been a little like stunted if you will and I just feel really tired I've got headaches because the Invisalign and stuff and I don't know I just I feel like I'm trying to like force it too much like I'm just putting a ton of pressure on myself and it's making it harder for me to like come up with creative ways to like lay stuff out and I'm really nitpicky I'm a perfectionist so I have been kind of playing around with it a lot and I decided that maybe what I need to do is just take a step back and kind of chill out for a day and just try to like, you know, maybe do some manual labor, go work out, something like that. Go for walks. Usually when I go for walks, that's when I think of really great ideas. So I really want to come up with some new fun inserts and things that I feel like I could personally use and that I'm sure some of you could use too. And I've gotten some requests for some new inserts. I am going to put, and this will be the case for like all of my products moving forward, I'm gonna put everything in the Dropbox. That way, when I launch the new budget add-on, if I don't have absolutely every single insert created, I at least can add to it and you guys will get access to any future inserts that are launched. So that will be really fun, but yeah, anyways, um, and then I'm also trying to decide what to do with the decorative inserts. Like, I don't know, the decorative inserts, they sell okay in my shop. They're definitely not like best sellers. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to continue doing decorative inserts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I feel like with the new, like, look of the new inserts and stuff, it would be really easy to kind of jazz up the budget inserts with, you know, stickers from complete kits and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do quite yet. If I want to just keep like neutral ones and then like maybe make more like budget stickers um, that you could get to like kind of, you know, have like the 
neutral insert and then decorate it. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now, you guys. I'm honestly, I'm so tired and like my head is just pounding because of my teeth shifting and stuff and the tray that I have in is just really, really tight and it's, it's definitely taken some getting used to. Um, you know, like taking them in and out is a process because my nails are still in really rough shape so I have to like use my nail to kind of get them off and anyways it's just been a thing it's been a whole thing but I'm not complaining I feel very blessed to be able to get the Invisalign and I'm grateful for that that I'm finally like correcting these issues because I think it'll also help like boost my confidence because my smile has honestly bugged me for a while but Anyways, um, just thinking out loud, <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, again, share this process with you guys, and I'm really excited for the budget add-on. Definitely stay tuned, and just bear with me as I'm piecing that all together. I, again, I'm really trying to come up with, like, new creative inserts, and I'm creating landscape editions and dark mode editions and all sorts of things, so it's just taking me a little bit longer, plus I want to come up with some really fun budget stickers so it'll be worth the wait I promise you um, but my goal right now is to get it done by the end of next week so I will probably take today off the day you guys are watching this work on it Friday probably work on it Saturday and then I'm hoping by like the end of next week it'll be done obviously that's going to impact other add-ons and inserts getting done but I think it'll even out like some of the add-ons I think I won't have to make as many changes as the budget add-on um so those ones should in theory take me less time but i'm going to just tackle them one by one i'll be asking lots of questions in our facebook group for your guys's input on what you want to see changed what you want me to keep the same just all that kind of stuff so but let me know what you think about the decorative inserts i do love them because i like the color of them and stuff but like i said i feel like it'd be really easy to jazz up the ones that I'm currently making they're very neutral with stickers and stuff so and again like the inserts the decorative ones do sell in my shop but they're not like huge huge sellers you know what I mean so anyways um that is pretty much it for now I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you found it helpful let me know in the comments down below how April went for you guys it was definitely a pretty okay month I would say for us, I'm hoping that May will be a little bit better and everything, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So I will see you guys on Saturday for the digital plan with me. All right, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.